Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Audio Technica, the AT2020 USB, their cardioid condenser USB microphone in black color with built-in headphone jack and volume control and a built-in mixer function, which I'm going to demonstrate. Now I have the backside shown there. Let me turn this. But I want to point out there's the headphone there on the back left side. And there is the front of the unit where you have your monitor control where you can turn it to allow more of your computer audio or more of the microphone mix. And then there is your headphone output which controls the gain of the headphone which is a real-time circuit for the audio that's produced by this condenser microphone. Comes with a nice instruction uh, booklet that goes over the specs of this uh, and comes with a USB cable, nice long cable that's about six feet long, a base with a swivel mount on there. We're gonna show you how to install that and a nice stand to hold it and a very thickly cushioned zippered holder which is included and it keeps all this inside that intact now um, this is a condenser microphone with a usb output for digital recording has a high quality ad converter 16-bit 44.1 or 48 kilohertz sampling rate for suburb audio hey, the uh there is a high output internal headphone amplifier which delivers superior clarity of musical detail as well as more volume overall. It's compatible with Windows 7, Windows 10, Vista XP2000, and Mac Operating System X. Now the mix control allows you to blend your microphone signal with pre-recorded audio on your computer, and then the headphone jack allows you to hear that mix. This has a smooth extended frequency response. They can be used for field recording or voice over or podcasting um, out of your home. The pivoting stand mount is 5H-27. The threaded stand is 5H-27 to 3H-16. The USB cable is uh, 3.1 meters long or 10 feet. It's longer than I had, uh, had mentioned. Now, let's go over some of the uh, specifications. The frequency response of this condenser or this cardioid microphone is 20 to 20,000 hertz. It's a fixed charge backplate permanently polarized condenser microphone. I'm going to show the response of this microphone on a slide. Then I'll show you the polarization pattern. So it is basically the sound goes in front of the microphone in a pattern just like that. And it minimizes what's in the back, which is what you typically want for recording uh, voice. The part requirement is USB 5 volt DC, which is going to come from this included uh, plug. As I mentioned, the bit depth is 16 bit, sampling rate 44.1 slash 48 kilohertz. Um, the weight is 13.6 ounces or 386 grams. The dimensions are um, about 6.38 inches long by 2.05 uh, wide. The uh, headphone output power is 130 milliwatts at 1 kilohertz with 10% total amount of distortion, distortion 32 ohms load. The headphone jack is a typical stereo 3.5 millimeter or what one eighth of an inch. Uh, as the accessories I mentioned already and I mentioned the system requirements. Now I'm going to, uh, before I go any further, I'm going to um, talk about something that's I think it's pretty important uh, about this microphone. There are many different microphones on the market right now that have the USB interface that is different than this. This is the industry standard that's been used for many, many years. And if you look at this USB, you can see right there, this is a type B USB connector. And it's used sometimes on printers. Now this is a very robust connector for several reasons. It has a very large contact area inside there. The contact area is large. You can see it inside here also. And what that does is they can use a relatively thick braided shielded cable 
because when you plug this in, that long length allows very good stress relief on that cable. Now, I own about five USB microphones and most of them have this connector and some don't have any connector, they're wired right in. But I have tested from Amazon three USB microphones, high-end ones that were $150, $180, and they didn't have this connector. They had uh, the Type-C, they had USB 2.0 micro, they had a micro USB 3.0, a mini B5 pin. I would highly recommend you avoid those microphones and stick with microphones that has this Type B 2.0. You're going to be disappointed because the cables they use have to be very thin to be flexible and what happens is they don't have good shielding and then eventually the connection goes bad and if you look at the reviews of those you'll see that everybody has a problem with them overall so I'm going to bring that up uh, this is very uh, easy to set up you can see on the bottom right here with this included piece you have a thread it's very uh, large size very nice and this is a pretty decent quality stand it's not uh, cheap plastic it doesn't break it's going to be very durable once you put that on there and on the bottom of the microphone you can see there are some threads right there and then this piece right here rotates independent and you could turn that clockwise and then you have a choice of what angle you want to put the microphone at you want to typically, well, you do always want to have it with this facing your mouth. So I'm going to lock that in place like that. And I prefer to have this leg standing out right in line with where my voice is going to be so that it has more resistance to tipping over. That's just my preference. But that's all you have to do. Then you plug in that cable on the bottom and hook it to the computer. Now we're going to... Uh, show the operation of this. I'm going to be testing this on some software and explain to you about all this function about the mixing here and the headphone output. So I'm going to plug the Audio Technica, the AT2020 USB in to my Windows 10 PC for the first time and I have a USB port right there and I have the cable turn, uh, plugged into the bottom of the microphone so let's just uh, reach over and I'll plug this in and see what happens here so it says setting up a new device on the bottom right there and the microphone shows a little blue LED right there. It's hard to see because I have the studio lights on here. But there's the blue LED. It says the device is ready and on the right hand side of the screen it said device is ready and it even said the uh, model number AT2020 USB. Now I have my sound shortcut right on my screen because I've tested a lot of USB microphones. So this is Windows 10. Now you notice headphones comes up, it has a little red bar right there. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. So it's recognizing the audio technical microphone as a headphone right here and playback devices. So if I were to play a video we should see, let's see if I play a video right here. You notice the little green is moving. So that's the ability to play something on your computer and hear it on this microphone. And that's totally unique. That's the first USB mic I've ever seen that. Now if we go to recording, testing one, two, three, now I've got the webcam on, but now here's the microphone right here. So there's a little check mark there. Let's click on that. And now we can go to levels and we'll set to 51. Let's bring that up to, let's see, 85. 
testing one, two, three. Now you can see it responding. If I tap the microphone, it goes even stronger. I still have that webcam on. Uh, I'm not going to figure out how to disable that. I have to disable right there. So now I have the webcam disabled and now the AT2020 USB is the only microphone. Now if I pick it up like this and I talk closer into it, obviously the level gets stronger. So now we're going to test this out with some software. So here I have an old version of Adobe Edition and I could uh, enable this track right here to record. Let's look at in one right here. So it shows up the microphone right there which is nice so it doesn't show up as a generic it shows up with the AT2020 and it shows stereo. Um, this isn't a stereo microphone so let's just pick the left channel and set the 16 bits hit OK. Now if I hit record testing one two three there is the Testing one, two, three. And I can, I'm talking right into the microphone. Testing one, two, three. I'm about three inches away. Level looked pretty good right there. Now let's stop that and let's uh, play that back. Testing one, two, three. There is the testing one, two, three. And I can, I'm talking right into the microphone. Testing one, two, three. I'm about three inches away level look pretty good right there so that sounded really good now we're going to try the uh, headphone and that mix control on there so I want to show you what this microphone is allowing me to eliminate if I want to I have a alto mixer and I have a microphone set to it and I normally sing into that microphone and the USB microphone right next to it so that I can hear myself through headphones but now I don't have to do that with this Audio Technical AT2020 because it has that mix function right in there where I can get my audio from my computer and mix it into the live mic audio. So here you can see you plug the headphone right into the back of the microphone so that it doesn't get in the way with the controls on here. So I want to show you the operation here. I still have that that uh, sound shortcut open right here and you can see it has the headphones and also recording has the microphone and you can see it's reacting right there when I touch it now right here is a song if I hit play I hear it in the headphones when I put the headphones by the mic here So that is a song being played on my computer that I can hear right in to the headphone output of the audio technical microphone right there. And then I have the ability to change whether I want more computer or more of my voice. So let me show you that. I'm going to hit play again. So this is going more towards the microphone. Testing one, two, three, and this is going more towards the computer. And then I have my microphone level right there. It's allowing me to alter the level. So basically you have a full mixer right here, very low noise. They did a great job on amplifying that. So basically what you have here is you have a basic mixer with the headphones and you can mix the amount of microphone higher and lower and the amount of computer or microphone right there. So it's eliminating that mixer that I have to make things a lot simpler and then you could actually record your voice and music. So what I have on the screen right here is that same software I mentioned and what I told it is to take the output and send it to the AT2020 and do that for all the tracks and off I hit play here the same song plays I'll put it by the camera so now that song is playing now because this microphone is a recording or playback now I can enable this track right here to record 
I can start recording. So you see it recorded that track right there. So now I'm going to uh, play that back and put the headphones by the camera. So, very nice, very functional, and allows you to use that mix function on this USB microphone. I wanted to mention that once I unplug the USB port on my computer right there, and then turned on my amplifier, then the sound came back to my computer. because I don't have the USB microphone hooked up anymore so it knew to go back to my computer so when you plug the USB microphone in and you set it up properly so that this is an output as well as a microphone you then can use that mix function and as I demonstrated it worked really nicely Can you see me longing? What's my overall opinion about the Audio Technica, the AT2020 USB cardioid condenser USB microphone black color with that nice mixer function and the headphone jack and volume control? I love this microphone. As I mentioned, I tested several. I wasn't happy with the noise. I like that they're using the older connector that is very durable. This mixer function is great. I can eliminate using my mixer that I showed. The headphone output is real time and you can just get really good recordings with this. The computer recognized it on Windows 10 instantly and it's worked perfectly. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.